Morning European traders. I think volatility's come back a bit, so let's get ready for some more action this week. We had some big moves yesterday in Euro. We had some big moves in cable. Today looks like dollar yen is gonna lead the way. Let's take a quick look at this dollar yen four hourly chart. We printed an O3 low last night. We have the natural uh bids to figure as would be typical in dollar yen. Uh, the important low, as we mentioned last week, is 95, 112.95. Through that, um, we see plenty of clear air. You know, we, we don't really get any good support till 112.30, uh, and then um, 111.67. So we're favoring lower dollar again today. Uh, looks like the market's just fed up with this tax stuff and we're going to see a little bit of risk off lower dollar dollar swiss made it through that 9925 area yesterday printed a 9883 low no reason this doesn't continue today uh keep an eye on this uh 200 four hourly bar uh, 98.65. Trickier the um, the dollar Swiss, but looks like more dollar selling. As you can see, we broke the sort of two three month trend line, and not really much there to hold us back. Should probably get up to 118.40, 118.50 today, and then we see how we uh, see how we do. Gold's lagging. Uh, people are in general a lot of negative media on gold these days, so I'm not really sure. Normally, we would see gold a little bit higher under these risk-off conditions, but S&Ps now. This is uh, this is now becoming a very very important point here is 25.62 and a quarter if you want to call it a neckline you can or if you want to just call it market tries it weakens it tries it weakens it but it holds again tries it weakens it holds again one of these times it's going to punch through down there uh, and this will be the fourth time if we get down there today I don't know. Is it time to sell some stocks? I definitely will be getting short through uh, through 60 today. Lastly, cable. Big move up yesterday. The market just got cut short after CPI. Not much to say in this sterling sterling market. You can see we're just consolidating. It gets kind of interesting if we can get above 132.31. I don't really see how that how that can happen. Um, so we're not really too worried about it. As far as the economic calendar today, let's just have a quick rundown. Uh, Euro GDP at 11 Central European time. And then some U.S. inflation data at 2.30. So, not a whole heck of a lot on the data front. We're just focused on this dollar yen downside. I'll leave you that, guys. Good luck today. We will see you at the New York Open.